Let's come on down for an abdominal plank, either full or modified, on your forearms. Terry, on this side, she's going to show some modifying options, so keep your eye on her if you need her. Already ready to go single leg. Lift, do an ankle push. Lift the other side. Ankle push, or protract those shoulders with Terry, which is simply rounding her upper back. You might feel like you're doing push-ups again. <laughs> you're welcome. Now let's go single leg. Do an ankle push. Just the single leg. We're going to switch to a side or a knee lift. Do a quick knee up, down slow six counts. And again, quick, slow and six. Quick, slow and six. Quick, slow. Woo! Release, roll over. All right, heavy head. That's going to be the arm exercise. It's holding your head. We're going to start knee tuck and then a straight leg crunch. Knee straight and lift. Let your head be heavy into those fingertips. Keep the natural curve in your back. Whatever is naturally there. Knee to straight. We're going to go quick and slow. Both knees come in quick. Extend slowly. Or heel dig with Terry. Wait. Up quick. Slow. If these are hard, you're doing it right. So proud of you. Keep it going. Quick and slow. Bring it in, then feet down to release. Take a moment. Second set. Knee first to a straight leg. When you get a break in the middle, it's always bad news. Hold on. And knee crunch. Out leg straight crunch. Keep it on that side. You've done so well today. Stay with us. Breathe out as you lift. Head heavy into your fingertips. Here comes that double knee quickly. In quick. Extend slowly. Six counts. Quick. And slow. Or a heel dig with Terry. Those are challenging as well, but it will pull a little less on your low back. Quick and slow. Great news, let's do it again. Quick. Take breaks as you need to. Keep that form quick. Just two more if you need to see the finish line. Quick. Keep it slow. Quick. Slow. Pull it in. Knees into the chest. Well done today. Thanks for joining us at Body and Soul Fitness. Before you go, I just want to remind you that as you likely know, fitness is something that we do again and again, right? And so the fact that you're in our community and you join us for one class and then another, maybe one program and then another program, success really does come in doing something again right whether we're trying to get better at something and so practice makes better or we're just trying to find that fitness program that's going to fit into our lives and be able to give us the result that we're looking for whether it's increased cardio or maybe strength training we need to build some muscle mass or, or build bone and so we do that through different programs that have weight bearing exercise but either way success really is doing something that you'll do again and again and again and so scripture tell us, tells us even to continually hope in the Lord. In the Psalms in 71, that one speaks to just continually, have, continually having hope, to praise God more and more, not just once, not just twice, but more and more, and to do that continual, continuously. So I wanna encourage you in your, not just your physical fitness, but your spiritual fitness as well, that we would pursue the Lord more and more, that we would dig more into scripture, learn more about his character, memorize scripture more, and really pursue him and continually hope in 
the character of God. Continue to hope that we would maintain our good health, that we would be able to strengthen our bodies where we need to so that we would maintain functional fitness and be able to do what we want to do. And so, again, I'm encouraged to be in this community with you. Look forward to working out next time. You did great today. Remember that success does come in doing that again. So I'll just look forward to that again workout as we continually hope in the Lord and praise Him more and more.